f from a to b is bijective or one to one correspondent if and only if f is both injective and surjective this we already know it now we have to prove that the function f from r to r defined by f of x equals to 2x minus 3 is a bijective function so first we will see how to prove that it is a one to one so if f of x1 equals to f of x2 then 2x1 minus 3 is equal to 2x2 minus 3 which implies that x1 equals to x2 therefore it is injective or one to one and uh, here 2x minus 3 is equal to y therefore x is equal to y plus 3 divided by 2 which belongs to r therefore f of x is equal to y hence f is subjective so which means that every element of r has its pre image therefore it is subjective and since f is both injective and subjective we say that f is bijective some additional exercises there are six programmers who can assist 10 departments in how many ways these departments be assisted by six programmers so that each is working at least at one department. So, <coughs> here the programmers will form the set B and the departments will form the set A. Therefore, size of A is equal to 10 and size of B is equal to 6. Number of assignments of departments to the programmers with no programmer is idle is nothing but the number of on to functions from a to b which is 6 factorial into s of 10 comma 6 and we know that from the previous video that s of m plus 1 m plus 1 comma n is equal to s of m comma n minus 1 plus n into s of m n so therefore we can write that s of 10 6 is equal to s of 9 plus 1 plus 6 plus s of 9 comma 5 which is equal plus 6 into s of 9 6 so here in this case uh, substitute the value of uh, m and n so you'll be getting this and by using this substituting uh, back substituting uh, we will be able to get that s of 10 comma 6 is equal to 2 to 8 to 7 therefore the number of assignments can be done in 6 factorial into s of 10 comma 6 which is equal to 6 factorial into 2 to 8 to 7 which is equal to 1 6 4 3 5 4 4 0 ways second one a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 b equals to v w x y z so here determine the number of functions f from a to b where f of a is equal to v comma v x so it means that all the elements of a are only associated with v comma x so here the answer is uh, 2 factorial into s of 7 comma 2 and next is the size of f of a is equal to 2 so you can observe here the difference here is f of a is assigned with only these two elements whereas here the size of f of a is 2 means so all the elements of a are assigned are associated with only two elements those two elements could be anything so in this case the answer will be 5 choose 2 multiplied by 2 factorial into s of 7 comma 2 next uh, here it is 3 elements so 3 factorial into s of 7 3 here it is a 5 choose 3 into 3 factorial s of 7 3 here it is 4 likewise if size of a is equal to m which is greater than or equal to n which is the size of b and if k belongs to z plus with k less than or e between 1 and n then the number of uh, functions f from a to b are there such that f of a is equal to k will be n choose k into k factorial s of m comma k this is a general formula for the required question next exercise five assistants to be engaged in a research project that calls for nine compounds that must be synthesized in how many ways can the chemist assign these synthesis to five assistants so that each is working on at least one synthesis so, so here 
the size of uh, A is equal to M, which is equal to nine compounds, and size of B, which is equal to N, which is equal to five assistants. So these five assistants, uh, everyone should be assigned with uh, in one of the compounds. So the answer is n factorial into s of m comma k, which is nothing but in this case uh, n is nothing but five. Five factorial into s of uh, m is nothing but nine, and uh, k is nothing but here five. So the answer is eight three four one two zero. Then there are seven different colored balls and four containers are labeled one two three four. Find the number of ways to distribute these balls so that no container is empty. So the answer is summation. K varies from zero to four minus one rise to k four choose four minus k. Into four minus k rise to seven. This seven is nothing but your number of different colored balls. So if you expand and find the answer, that will be the required answer. In the collection of seven balls, one of them is blue. So in how many ways can we distribute balls so that no container is empty and the blue contain blue ball is in the container too? So here in this case, one uh, uh, ball. Uh, blue ball is in the container too. So therefore, we'll remove that count, and uh, we keep m is equal to six and n is equal to four, assuming that the container too can contain other colored balls along with the blue ball. There are seven colored <coughs> balls and four containers. This we have already seen, right? So the answer for this is m is equal to six and n is equal to four, and assuming that the container two can contain this one, we have already seen. Next, if we remove the labels from the container so that we can no longer distinguish them, then how many ways we can distribute seven different colored balls and four identical containers with some containers possibly empty? So here it is m is equal to seven, n is equal to four, and it is the Stirling order of s of seven comma i where i varies from one to four. These are four is nothing but these four containers. So this represents s of seven one represents at least three containers will be empty, two will be empty, one will be empty, and zero empty. So here s of seven one gives. Three containers empty. With three containers empty, two containers empty, three uh, one container empty, and zero container empty. So the answer will be seven twenty three. Definition: If f and g are functions from A to B, and f is equal to g if and only if f of A equals to g of A for all A belongs to A. That means every uh, for every element of the A. If both the functions have the same images, then these two functions are said to be equal. Example: If f and g are functions from R to Z, that is real numbers to integers, such that f of x equal to x if x belongs to Z. Otherwise, floor of x plus one if x belongs to real number minus Z. That means it is a real number but not an integer. If it is a fraction, then it is floor of x plus one. So, example, and g of x is suppose here it is a c of x for all x belongs to R. Now we need to show that this f of x is equal to g of x. Since it is, uh, if it is an integer, so f of x, if it is an integer, it is x, and g of x is also for an integer, it is itself is a upper bound, so it is satisfied. If x is uh, not an integer, if it is a real number, then we have to show that. So that's what here the example is written and proof is given. So example, floor of three point eight is three, whereas minus floor of minus three point four is minus four, and uh, seal also we know it how to find in previous videos you can watch. Now if x belongs to Z, f of x equal to x, which is equal to seal of x equal to g of x. So first condition is satisfied if x is an integer. Now if x is a real number, then I can write x is equal to n plus r. This r is nothing but the fraction. N belongs to Z and uh, r belongs r is between zero and one. Then f of x equals to floor of x plus one. So it is nothing but x plus one. 
which is nothing but seal of x which is equal to g of x. Therefore, f of x equal to g of x for all x belongs to R. Next comes the composition of function. So, two functions f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c can be composed to give the composition g o f. So, for the relation we do it from left to right for the functions we do it from right to left. This is a very important thing that you should know. So, this is a function from a to c. Gof is a function from a to c defined by gof of x is equal to g of f of x. So, here we first apply the f and then g whereas in relation we first apply g and then go to f. So, let f of x equal to x plus 2 and g of x equal to 2 x find fog of x and gof of x fog of x is equal to f of g of x. So, f of g of x is nothing but 2x. So, f of 2x. So, f of 2x is nothing but in place of x replaced by 2x. So, it is 2x plus 2. So, your fog of x is 2x plus 2. Whereas, gof of x is nothing but g of f of x. So, f of x is nothing but x plus 2. So, g of x plus 2 is nothing but 2 into x plus 2 which is 2x plus 4. So, we can see that fog of x is not equal to gof of x and this can be represented in this fashion. So, if f is a function from a to b, this is your f of a and b is a function from b to c, it is a g function, then gof of x is a function from a to c. One more example, let a equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, b equals to abc and c equals to wx, y, z. If f is a function from a to b, g is a function from b to c given by f equals to 1a, 2a, 3b, 4c and g is equal to ax, by, cz. Then for each element of a, we, def we can find g, uh, g of, of, of 1 is equal to g of f of 1. So, f of 1 is nothing but a. So, it is g of a. So, g of a is nothing but x. So, likewise for all the elements of uh, <coughs> A, you can find out this GOF of and your GOF of A, uh, GOF is a function from A to C. So, it is 1x, 2x, 3 by 4 side. If F and R are 1 to 1 and on to, then the function GOF is also 1 to 1. If F and G are on to, then the function GOF is also on to. The composition always holds the associativity property but does not hold the commutative property. Thank you.